Oh, that's hot. I have this in jail. Come on, it's hot. My love. It was my princess. Hmm? My own. My expensive jewel. Oh. Take. Easy. 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 Darling. Yes. Don't you think you are pampering this child? Yes. I mean, Angel is a big girl. She can feed herself. Honey, I don't want her to grow up so independent on us and people in general as a result of over pampering her, which is not good. No, oh, come on, listen. She is a big girl. She can handle herself. She can take care of herself. Let me tell you. I, aren't you a big girl? You are a big girl. Don't let little things bother you. Who is grown? Who is a big girl? This is my baby. My princess. <laughs> Don't worry. It shouldn't bother you. Wait. Is someone jealous? Oh, I sense jealousy here. <laughs> okay. Okay. Take yours. Uh, take, take. Take it. Take it. Take one. Two. 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 Is it your take? All right. Have it. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Hey, see, I'm very grateful to God for giving me both of you. Yes, I'm so happy. Me looking at both of you, Ozugo, I'm satisfied. I'm telling you. You have a sweet mouth. No, so sweet. You have a sweet mouth. See, honey, I don't know what happened. You know why God is the greatest? Do you know why God is the omnipotent, omniscience, omnipresence, omni, mini, 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 mini? You see, when he was sharing wealth, I don't know what happened. He didn't give me. But at least he gave me the boot of you as a compensation. <laughs> see, that's see, for the angel. I know you use this for sweet mouth to trap me in this house. No, I it's know. not sweet mouth. It's called pure love. You see, the love that I have for both of you is unimaginable. Uh, 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 look at this one. Mm. Madam, come and go to school. Leave my husband alone. Okay, just take Leave this my one. husband. Uh, honey, she stayed to school. Uh, yes. Okay. Angel, uh, get up. Uh, mm. uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go, mm. no, stand up. Time to go to school. Don't worry, I will clear the table. Okay. Right. Mm. I love you, love you. Come here. Come, come here, daddy. Mm, that's my princess. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I love you, my sweet angel. Take care of yourself. We have to get going now. No, let's go! What's that? I'm not that out of you. I'm not thinking. See, this chair, you will not steal my husband away from me. He is my husband, he's mine. I don't want to share him with you. Mm, I love you, boy. I love you.
Now, this is our, our preferred dressing coach for Tuesday. In this school, but scout school, we don't dress like this. We have our normal uniform Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday to Friday. Do you understand me? The next time you will do what? You dress like this, I will do what? I will flog you mercilessly and do what? Send you back home. Do you understand me? I'm very mad at you. People will not embrace the simple instructions. Next time you will do this, I will do what? I will flog you and do what? Send you back home. Don't you ever try it next time. Do you understand? Thank you. Thank you. You. What's your name? My name is Angela. So why aren't you dressed like this? My mom did not iron the uniform. What do you want to do to them? All of them should go back home and dress properly. Whatever it is, can wait. All I want now is you. Come on. You want me? Yes. Christian, can wait. Mm. Okay, ask me. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> Honey. Yes, darling. Tell me. Why do you always run back home? Leaving your work unfinished. Hmm? Whenever Angel goes to school. I want to know. Well, baby, it's obvious. That Come one? on. I can have enough of you. <laughs> and that is why I always run home each time in jail goes to school. Mm -hmm. Listen, I can't have enough of you. And besides, if I choose to remain in my place of work, I cannot concentrate. Really? Yes. You are not serious. Listen, it's better I come home and... Uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> and do what? Before I go back to my place. I'm <laughs> joking. You're not serious. Listen, listen I'm serious, baby. I'm serious. You know, Angel is fast growing and she no longer allows us to have quality time together in this house. And of course, it's not everything that we we'll do in her presence. So, um, that's why I always run back home anytime she goes to school. <laughs> I know. You see, baby, I know how close we used to be before she was born. Honestly, I miss those moments. Oh, but we have no choice. I miss those moments. She's honestly. our child. We're not going to throw her away. No, we won't do that. You know. And that is why I'm here. You're here to do what? <clears throat> leave me alone. That's why I'm here. Leave me alone. That's why I'm here. I said she leave me alone. That's why I'm here. Leave me alone. Somebody help me! <laughs>
I go home, my mommy will beat me. The same mommy that forgot to dress you appropriately? Yes, ma. You're smart. Thank you, ma. I'm beautiful too. Thank you, ma. Well, the kids have gone home and here you are, reluctant to go home. It speaks volumes of your smartness. Thank you, Mom. Would you like me to put you on a reminder every day? I mean, tell you per day the right clothes to wear for the right days. Would yes. you like that? Yes, Mom. Okay, then. Would you also like me to be your personal teacher? I mean, you're smart, but I can make you smarter. Because I like you. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Now go home. Come to school tomorrow with the right clothes. And after school, I'll escort you home so I can say hello to your mommy. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Bye, ma'am. Bye, baby girl. That's the way to your house, okay? Yeah, ma'am. Okay. Now be good. Bye bye. Angel. Sir? How many times have I warned you not to allow anyone write on your notebook? Daddy, nobody wrote anything for me. Nobody wrote on your notebook. Are you saying that I'm blind? Oh, Daddy, it's my special teacher. Angel, which one is special teacher again? Daddy, don't worry. You meet her soon. Mm. Daddy Angel, you're very smart. You have sharp eyes. Eh? Ha -ha. You can see very well. If it were be me, I wouldn't have found out about it. <laughs> but that is why I married you anyways. I love my husband. Honey, you don't have money. But I believe that my husband is a smart man. One of the smartest in this village. Hmm? You make money. Money is on the way coming. Amen. Ah, you see you. You at it again. You know, each time you praise me like this, it busts my brain. Honestly. And for that, come and have this. Okay, you have this money. Yes, for you. Buy whatever you wish. This for me? Yeah. Aww. I love you, darling. Love you, too. you know what? Hmm? I'm going to serve it very well for you. <laughs> it's for you, David. It's for you. I will not give you. <laughs> yeah, don't save it. Hmm? Don't worry, my love. I'm going to save it very well for you. And Angel, why that look? She's jealous. Angel, what's that face? Why is her face like that? Daddy, you did not give me my own money. Remember, I praised you in the morning. <laughs> this girl will kill me. Okay, have you forgotten the promise I made you if you should come first in your class? Have you forgotten? Yes, I remember. That's good. <laughs> All right, time for you to do your assignments. Come over here. Uh, 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 uh. Stay there. Pound it. 
allow her to finish her work first, honey. You see, I don't want to share my husband. No. Honey, I don't want to share you with this girl. I don't want you to share with this girl. He's my daddy, so let me go. And he is my husband. You're not going anywhere. Found it. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, my beautiful daughter. Good afternoon, ma'am. How are you today? Good afternoon. I'm fine. And who is this beautiful lady that you came home with? <laughs> Mommy, meet Miss Belinda, my special teacher. That's right. Hello, ma'am. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> I am her mother. Ah, she has yes. told me a lot about you and your husband. You're and welcome. I'm delighted to be here. Hey, please have a seat. Sure. Oh, she your <laughs> Hey, this your aunt is very, very beautiful. Oh, hey. thank you. <laughs> so tell me, what do I offer you? Water. Water will be perfect. Just water. The weather is really hot. I can use some you, water. You did not even mention malt. <laughs> uh, Guinness. Fanta. Uh, small stuff. No, just water. Thank uh, you. Okay, no problem. Catch your in your garden. Okay, Go I'm take a shower, girl. <laughs> I'm still here. Angel has a striking resemblance with you. Yeah. My God, it's it's phenomenal. She's your double again. Thank you. That means somebody that looks like you, like your twin. Only this time we're talking about your daughter. <laughs> beautiful, you beautiful. You are way too beautiful. <laughs> Absolutely. Stop flattering me. Please. I'm not. Oh God, I swear. Thank you. You're welcome. You're also beautiful too. Oh, I know that. I mean, you're very different. True. From what I've been seeing in that school. <laughs> Look at you, your shoe, uh -huh. your beauty. Right. Everything about you is top so notch, huh? I'm telling you. You know, in that school, I, I've not seen a teacher that is like you. <laughs> I've never seen a teacher that is like you. Tell me about it. <laughs> I am beautiful. Story of my life. I get that a lot. But thank you for the compliment. It means a lot to me. You're welcome. No. So listen, um, what I really want is for you to let me become Angel's home lesson teacher for free, at no cost. I, I will not charge you. Angel is super smart and intelligent. And I feel like if you let me equip her with all the knowledge and wisdom that she requires to propel her to a great future, she's bound to get international recognition. Globally, she's going to be announced because she's a genius. She's a rare gem and it makes me really excited right. because I know I can do a lot with her and for her. Wow. Interesting. You might say she's young, but they say that it's always good to catch them young, right? Because now her brain can take whatever that you give it and store it there. And as a woman, she's going to change our world, our society in many diverse ways, given advanced knowledge from a young age. Really? Yes, I, I could go on and on, but I, I'm just so excited. <laughs> Are you going to let me? Because I want to start. Immediately, if you let me. You mean this is my small angel here? Yes. Oh. My sister, I've heard all you said. Okay. Well, the thing is that, you know, I'm a woman. Mm -hmm. And I'm under a man. Right. I'm a married woman, so I need to seek consent from my husband first. Oh. Before anything. Uh. I can't give it a go ahead order to come. Okay? Say no more. I know what you mean. This is Africa. We gotta let the man do his thing now. So I'll wait. I'll wait for you to tell him. 
Thank you very much. Yeah. Once again, you're beautiful. You are too. And I hope. I wish to be like you. Oh my god. I could uh -huh. give you tips. Uh -huh. I mean, I'm a joy giver. I give a lot of joy. Uh -huh. Beauty tips, lifestyle tips, education. I, I, I'm like Santa. <laughs> Only this time, Mrs. Santa. <laughs> You're welcome, Mrs. Santa. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Can I call you Joy or just Madam? Joy is okay. Joy, huh? <laughs> joy, girl. <laughs> about the homeless and that my teacher told you about. Mm -hmm. Yes. Can't you see that he's working? Hmm? Allow him to finish his work first. Then I'll talk to him. Mm -hmm. Don't you know that education is more important than that work? Education is more better than what? That work. Our roof is leaking. And he wants to fix it for us. Eh? That's why I'm taking my studies very seriously. So I'll take you and Daddy to abroad. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Adobo. I know you will take us abroad. Yes. I know. Well, I think I, I've seen where this thing is actually leaking from. This thing is it's leaking from this point. Hey. Yes. This. You mean on that day? Yes, yes. Uh, yes, 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 yes. So I have to fix it from here down to, uh, yeah, probably that side so that it's well. Um, um, my husband, please come. <clears throat> what is it? I hope all is well. <laughs> all is well. There is something I want to discuss with you. Okay. You see, I... Mommy, talk to daddy very fast. Person, you say he wants to go and see. Angel. Okay, so, what is it? My husband. Angel's teacher was here. Earlier today. Angel's teacher came? I hope Angel didn't misbehave in school. <laughs> She did not misbehave. Okay. I, I okay. have a good daughter. And you know our daughter would never misbehave. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Okay. She said she wants to become her private home teacher. Private home teacher. Yes. You know, my husband, you know our daughter here is very, very intelligent. Yes, and that is what her teacher said. So she needs an edge to other students to her mates in school. I want her to study very, very well. <clears throat> okay, so, talking about private lessons, how much is involved? That is where the, the mother is, my boss. She did not even mention anything about money. No money. No money at all. <sighs> you see, my dear, I really do not buy this whole idea. I know education is very important and should be taken seriously. But not stressing a child's brain like that of an uh, angel. I, despite her studies, I think she still needs some time to herself. Yes, time to play, time to get involved in some other activities like house chores and what have you. Angel likes it. She's not complaining. And I want her to study more. Honey, I want this thing for our daughter. I want this private teacher for her. See, it's because you're, the, you're, you're because of you're the, you're the man of the household. I would have even given her the go-ahead order. But I don't want to jump over your head and ask her to come and become her private lesson teacher. I want to respect my husband. You're the head of the house. Just say yes, please. Angel. Yes, daddy. Is that what you want? Yes, daddy. That's what I want. Mm -hmm. Don't say yes. It's all right. If that's what you both want, then no problem. She can teach her. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. 
Mm. I know you will say yes. I know you leave my husband. <laughs> no, let me give him a hug. Mm. I know you will say yes. Thank you so much for helping me secure that job. Thank you. My dear, you don't need to thank me. That's what friendships are for. Indeed, you're a good friend. Hope you're not just realizing that. Because I've always had your back from day one. And I've always had your back too. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I know. But wait, oh Belinda. <laughs> there is something I still do not understand. What? Why did you choose to come down to the village and become a village teacher? Nime, I know your qualification can get you a very, very well-paying job in the city. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are many big schools in the city that will be honored to have you aboard. Mm -hmm. So, give me the credit or the kid then. What are you here? Eh? I know what I'm doing. There's more to decisions like this than meets the eye. That's true. But see this particular decision? Still baffles me. I'm happy to be back. That's all I can tell you. Okay. Well. <laughs> Do this. Aww. It gives me a special joy. Like your name? <laughs> <laughs> my name. It gives me special <laughs> joy to not just smack kids like Angel. Thank you. Ooh, look at her. God bless <laughs> you. <laughs> the big girl. <laughs> look at her angelic face. Thank you. Not to mention. <laughs> you know, I'm not Santa, but I came bearing gifts. Wanna see? Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. Yeah. You ready? <gasps> oh my God. Thank, you, Thank you, Miss Blender. Oh, you're welcome. God bless Have you. Have yeah. Aww. God Thank bless you. Thank you. Look at your face. Oh. I love you, baby girl. Love you too. <laughs> you're welcome. God bless what you. What a cutie. I got something for you too. For me too. You ready? <laughs> oh my god, this is beautiful. There's more. Oh, I want this for me. Open it. I, sh I should open it. Go ahead. Open it. Is it beautiful? Uh, it's beautiful. I know it uh, is. <laughs> And this one is trousers. See how it's shining? Yes. yes. <laughs> Imagine how much necks will twist and turn when you wear the shiny coat. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's beautiful, bro. I knew you'd like them. I and like it. I don't think yeah. my husband would like me. Would like it if I put on this. Yeah, it's very short. He doesn't want me putting on short things at all or anything that will expose my body. 
He doesn't like it at all. I'm sorry. What? You see, my husband will not allow me to wear. Stop it! I heard you the first time. How can he not like? He's joking. I think he's being pretentious. Hello, every man loves it when his woman looks attractive. And to well, look attractive, you wear clothing like this one. Yeah, I am a married woman. Girl, if you don't wear clothes that flatter your body figure like this, your husband will begin to follow this little girl's roundabout seat. Uh, <laughs> and then what happens after that? You don't want that to be you. Beyond your husband, girl, you need to look good for you. Because when you look good, you feel good. You own your body, you exude confidence. Just because you're married doesn't mean you have to become boring and undesirable. Uh, no, don't do that to yourself. So how come you know all these things? <laughs> you sound as if you know so much about me. Girl, I am Belinda. Not only am I a passionate school teacher, I am CEO. Love it or leave. A certified relationship therapist known in this country. So when I tell you that I know and seen and heard it all about men, it's because I got all this information from my clients. So girl, you need to get your ass up and start to look good for your man. All right? Not to worry. I just have an idea. Next time I'm coming here, I'll get you a waist trainer. Have you heard about waist trainers? No? Girl, you wear around about your waist. Then it pushes your boobs all the way up. And then accentuates your ass and pushes it backward mm. in a way that leaves you completely sensual. You're working like, mm. It's and, okay. Mm. And I, mm. Girl! No man can resist that look, even your husband. Uh, I, I know. Dress like that and he'll come running home to you every day to <laughs> bang your ass. Cause girl, girl! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, Angel, you have to go inside and continue doing your boobs, okay? Auntie and mommy want to speak privately. Were you seriously closing her ears right now? Uh, not at all. <laughs> Why are you sending her inside? She's still a child. Oh. A child that needs all of this uh, information. Are you kidding me? Uh, My angel. Oh, I hate to see you go. I love you, baby girl. Yeah. <laughs> She's a girl child. The earlier she begins to stay in tune with every information that has to do with her private parts, boobs, clitoris, vagina, ass, everything, the better for her. Mm -hmm. Stop with your case, already. <sighs> you know. Outside this country, little girls begin to get the sex education from a very young age. Huh? I can't believe you're hiding this information from her. She needs to know angel. Sex education quoi? Yes. Uh, no, 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 no. She's still a child. Uh, don't worry, she will learn, but not now. I'll teach her. I, I, I don't teach her yet. Oh. <laughs> oh, my poor child. If you want to child, what do I know? What do I offer you, please? Can I meet you My own Ngozi Okonjiwala. Daddy, welcome. My angel. How are you? I'm fine, Daddy. Never felt better. Oh, really? Yes. So do you care to talk to me about it? Mm. Meanwhile, who got these books for you? My teacher. She just left some moment ago. Oh. Yes. Oh, she has resumed the lesson. Yes, Daddy. She taught me a lot. Wow. Yes. Interesting. <laughs> so you learned a whole lot. Yes, I did. I heard your voice. I heard your voice. <laughs> You're back, honey. Huh? Can I? My own gift. Honey, you like it? Let me just open it for you. <laughs> Just look at it. It's beautiful.
beautiful. Um, it's a gift from the teacher. <laughs> and you like it, right? And also this one. I, I love them. Yes. It's beautiful. Yeah. Daddy. Honey. Don't worry, I'll wait for you. This one will be my size. What's wrong with daddy? What's wrong with your father? Imagine, why would you accept such gift from a total stranger? I told her, I told her that my husband would not like it. Yes, I told her you, that you don't like, you don't like seeing me wearing. I, I, imagine, imagine what, 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 what this lady brought. The, imagine the nonsense she brought into this house. Her, is that what she came to teach? No, no, no. No, this is how she's going to teach Angel, right? Uh, uh, no, 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 my husband. She's not even teaching Angel any bad thing. She's a good teacher, but as for the clothes, eh? I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. That's for the clothes. Well, I should forget about it. Please, I'm sorry. No, that's why. No, that's how it starts. This is exactly how it starts. Before you know it, she will start inviting you to parties and introducing you to men. Or to across the video. If she can bring such skimpy, imagine the nonsense. That is what she brought here. In fact, that teaching stops. I don't want her to teach in this house any longer. I dislike her even without seeing her. Do you understand me? No, 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 no I don't. This partner, you don't understand it. Eh? You know, Angel is our daughter and she likes the woman so much. She's a good teacher, yes. She's teaching her very well, please. Eh? Please don't deprive our daughter of this happiness. I am begging you in the name of God, my husband, please. As for the clothes, I will return them. I've told you. I, I, I even told her that I don't like it too. I don't like them. I told her eh, that I will show it to my husband for accepting it. I only want to show it to you so that you will say yes or no. Imagine, imagine. I am sorry. I am sorry, my husband. Please put it in my mouth. For the first thing tomorrow morning, I, I, if, if I, but whenever I see her, I will just return the clothes to her. Love, daddy. Okonogong. Bim Pamukin. They're very fast. Please, fast, fast, fast. I'm very hungry. Figure your house. Eh? Oh, 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 I forgot. Your mother had you out of wedlock. That is why you don't have orientation. In my own house, you are serving me food with just one meat. One meat, nobody. The meat, uh, this is the last meat uh, in the stew you brought to serve, you brought for me. Eh? The last meat in the soup you brought for me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But you didn't give me any money. I had to use my last card to buy the things needed to prepare this meal. And he couldn't afford much for you to increment the prices of goods in you. Oh! You want to tell the whole world that you are the one providing food in this house, Sapia? Huh? See, let me educate you in case you don't know. Come on, you will leave me alone. Don't let me have a let me ask you in case you don't know. Other families, their wives are the one providing food for their family. They go to work, they work hard, they provide food. They cook, they don't meet their husband, they say, sweet as eat. With four meats. They put four meats, three meats, and even say, honey, eat. Let me tell you in case you don't know. Come on, will you leave me alone? Why are you all different? Come on, leave me alone, my friend. Leave me alone, my friend. Don't try you, don't 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 you. So, check this out. What is this? 
is it? It's a pie. Pie? Yes. Okay. Now when I do this, it becomes something else. What is it? Two pie. Two pie. Uh, oh, okay, girl. <laughs> <laughs> You're brilliant. Thank you. Way too brilliant. Two pie. Uh. Now I can take another stroke over here, all the way down to this place. What does it become now? Three pie. Uh. <laughs> such an angel. Thank you. <laughs> now, these are not the same sizes. Which is bigger? This one. Okay, girl. <laughs> now pay attention. Keep in mind we're working with this. Bird mass. Um. <laughs> Bracket. Uh, Fraction. Hello. Yes. Um, I want to return this. Why? My husband, he said I should return it to you. You know I told you that he won't like it. I'm sorry. Wow, well, this is embarrassing. It's okay, I was just being nice. Uh, I know you're a nice person, yeah, I understand. But I appreciate the gift though. But my husband, he's a man of the house and I can't say no to him. I think it is. Please, just try and understand me. Yeah. Don't feel bad. No, no, it's okay. It's okay, I'll, I'll take them. They'll fit me. <laughs> and, um, I think that's a lot of learning for today, don't you think so? Yeah. Yeah? Because uh -huh. you've learned a lot, really. Yeah. And I'm proud of you. Thank you. So, here's where we wrap it up for the day. You can go and eat now, take a nap, play. What do you want to do? Nap. Mmm. Because <laughs> it makes you healthy and stronger. High five, girl. <laughs> today was great. Yeah. You did great. Thank you. I love you, baby. Love you too. So, I'll. Chit chat with mommy for a bit, then I'll be on my way. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye. Take your school bag. Bye. Bye, baby girl. Love you. Love you. My apology. So, <laughs> now that I'm done tutoring, you and I can catch up. We can catch up on some really private things. That's if you don't mind. Some of the topics that I'm curious to discuss with you might come across as. Um, a little bit insensitive, but I promise you, it's for your own good. For your own good, girl. Are you ready? Okay. So, tell me about your sex life. Huh? How interesting is your sex life? Do you enjoy sex? Hmm. How often do you have sex? How well does your man fuck you? Be shy. It's for your own good, I say so. There's nothing to be embarrassed. I don't bite. <laughs> you should see your face. <laughs> and from this silence, I'm guessing that you have a boring sex life, which you mean. I don't know what you're <laughs> How often do you have sex in a week? How many rounds does your man go in a day? This is some serious sexual talk that will, in the end, enhance your sexuality. Huh? Let me tell you something. Have you ever experienced orgasm? Have you ever climaxed? Like this. <gasps> That is orgasm. Have you ever? You know, research findings say that only 2% of women in the world climax. And that's because their yeah, men don't know how to hit the G spot. Do you know about the G spot? No? No? No, girl, you don't know because you're looking at me like I'm a damn movie. <laughs> 
so much you need to learn, so much you need to know. Let's talk about sexual fantasies, all right, and several fetishes that exist. Are you aware of these things? Because they seem a little bit advanced for you. Do you know what? I'll take you on them on another day. <laughs> but for today, let, let's focus on the basics, right? There are several sex positions and fetishes. There is threesome. Mm -hmm. Two ladies and a man. Two men and a lady. Yeah. Play here, play here, play here. Mm -hmm. Just play hey. around it. Mm -hmm. And then there's dominance, eh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Handcuffs and then bang! Then there's submission, right? Where you get to. Mm -hmm. Then there's the doggy style, right? There's, there's several, several, several. There's BDSM, right? But girl, girl, I have to emphasize that the essence of fetishes and fantasies is to help one achieve utmost satisfaction because that's that's what sex is about. Sex is about you feeling yourself like ecstasy, baby, right? Right? You know, in this part of the world, <laughs> married folks do this boring sex position when making love. The missionary style. <laughs> the one where the woman lies on the bed and just opens and then the man brings his dick and puts it inside and he just pounding, 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 pounding. Pound then when he's done pounding, he will come. Then after coming, he zips up and walks away. Then she gets up and go and clean up. I'm feel like a good wife. <laughs> I beg you. He's looking like that's kind of thing you put in. That's kind of thing he's doing to your man. You're familiar with that style. <laughs> fuck that shit. There's many ways to fuck. Okay? There's the doggy style, right? Just like the name implies, you just bend it like a dog and then take it from behind. <laughs> right? <laughs> and then there's the cowgirl style where you as a lady get to sit on top and bang it, bang it, bang it, bang it, bang it. Bang it. <laughs> this is stop corrupting. And then there's the sister nice spider. Where you take your mm and put it on the mm and hit it in mm. <laughs> Girl, I know you're feeling this shit. I, I, and then there's uh, several doggy style. I already mentioned that. Uh, Sex is so much fun. So allow yourself enjoy it to the fullest. I enjoy it. Does your man fuck you good? Yes. How good? Oh. Tell me. Tell me, girl. You don't need to be shy. <laughs> All I know is that. My husband and I can make love like five times in a day. I enjoy it a lot. Oh, really? Yeah. You mean five times missionary style? Please, girl. Where's the fun in that? Not be by to do five times a day. It's not by the number. It's about the satisfaction that came with it while you did it. Did you come? Did he hit your G spot? Did he climax? How yummy was the sex? Eh? Oh, you think after pounding you five times or eighteen times a day, you're going to beg. Give me your ears here and here. Here, oh here. Upgrade your sex life, girl, because you need to fuck that mangy. Fuck that Excuse me, I'm please, I want to go inside and check what I, I put on the fire. I'll be back. No, no, we're cooking this. Uh, uh, we're cooking sex education, girl. Me. So that you can cook some... Oh, we do it. Cook some good sex for him. Excuse me. Come on, <laughs> This lesson, cause he needs it. Belinda. Hey, sexy. Hi. How are you? Surprised to see me.
he has. What are you doing? It's a bar. Darling, ah, you're back. Yeah. <laughs> and you're welcome. This is Belinda, Miss Belinda, mm -hmm. Angel's um, class teacher. Oh. Yes. You're welcome. It's nice to meet you, sir. Thank you. Um, Miss Belinda, this is my husband. Oh. He is very smart. Ah. Oh. He's Angel's daddy. Angel took over his smart brain. Yeah. Let's yeah. get to now. Um, you are welcome, Miss uh, Belinda. Uh, Miss Belinda. <clears throat> Actually, a lot has been said about you in my family. Mm -hmm. And uh, I want to say thank you for all you do for Angel. Um, keep doing more. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'll take my leave now. Uh, no, 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 no. The food is almost... In fact, the food is ready. Let me dish it out for you. <laughs> eh? Never mind. Eh. Uh, honey? I'll eat when I get home. Go to your meal before, Anabam. Yes. See okay. you next time. Uh, okay. Hey, honey, hmm? she's very beautiful. I see you. Chai! I see what you. a woman. Black beauty. Come, come, come and sit down. Come, come oh, and sit down. Eh? Let me go and dish out the food for you. Oh, okay. Hmm? okay. Sit down, my husband. So, how was work today? It's fine, fine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what did you cook? I am coming. Surprise, surprise. All right. <laughs> What are you doing in my family? I'm here to take your daughter's education to the next level. Belinda, mm -hmm. you and I know this is not the answer to my question. It's not? Listen, I don't know what you're up to. I don't know what you're doing in my family. I don't know why you choose my daughter to be your special student. She's not the only girl in that school. When did you even become a teacher? Oh, Jesus Christ. So many goddamn questions. Would you calm down? How about you answer me this? Why did you ask your wife to return the clothes I gifted her? Tell me about it. <laughs> you know, I gave her these to test you. And clearly, my instincts are still telling me that you have not changed. No, stop. Interestingly, you're still the same overly protective stop guy. Stop it! Obie. I said stop it! Okay. I don't know what you're up to. I don't know what you're doing in my family. I don't know what games you're playing. But trust me, I and my family do not want to be part of your games. I am happily married now. Do you understand that? Oh, but Obi, you can't be happy without me. Stop. Stop. Yeah, go up me. Leave my house. Your angel won't like that. I'm back, Obi. I'm back. So I'll be seeing you around. Hey, brother. Listen to me. This lesson has to stop in this house. Alright? Do you understand me? It has to stop. I do not ever want to see Belinda anywhere around this house. Did you get that? Angel was doing just fine before this whole lesson nonsense started. And it has to stop. She will continue to do fine with or without a special lesson. Why are you so angry? What happened? I mean, why this sudden change of attitude? Oh. Oh. Oh, she also taught you how to question your husband's order. I am not questioning you. No, but that's exactly what you're doing. I said the lesson has to stop. stop. Whether you want it or not, in this house, that lesson ceases to exist. Why? Do you understand me? I don't understand. I want to understand. Make me understand. Make me understand. What is what? Why? Please, you're the, the only person who can talk to daddy. Please, I still want her to be my lesson. But I don't know what happened. Mm. No, don't 
cry. You don't need to cry, okay? I have to go in there and find out what really happened. Oh, why the change of attitude? It's okay. I, who is the husband? This is my child. And who is the Margaret? It's my child. Belinda is a family spoiler. Try na which kind of person be this year? Yeah, who is the husband? This is my child. And who is the Margaret? It's my child. What's wrong? What's wrong? You're sobbing. What is that? What is that on your face? Who did this to you? Your who? Your husband. Your husband did this to you. How? Why? Why? Why did he divorce him? Divorce him or he will kill you and you you end up dead. I can't. I can't. Our tradition for me is this. Our tradition is against divorce. A woman must stand and do my marriage. Dibun did it. Dibun. Dibun. Wait a minute. You are willing to stay back in that miserable marriage of yours where your animalistic husband beats you to a pulp because tradition forbids it? Do you want to die? A berry. Because at this rate, you might end up, God forbid, dead. Live now while you can. And I will help you. I will help you report that animal husband of yours to the police where they will teach him manners. He obviously doesn't know how to teach him. Oh, don't worry. We will settle everything out carefully. I'm a kid. So you came to show me your wound. I've seen it. Now what next? We should cook rice and have a party in celebration of how you almost died from receiving blows from your despicable husband. Let us. Mm. You should know me well enough to know that I do not go back to my vomit. I don't. Daddy, my But oh, her daughter already like her. And she said she will not eat or drink until her teacher comes back. Please, I beg you in the name of God. Reconsider. Please. I maintain my stand. I don't want that teacher to teach in this house again. Listen, 
if angel desperately needs a lesson teacher i will get her one but as for that particular teacher she won't teach anyone this house and that's fine Angel, why didn't you go to school? Am I not talking to you? I said, why didn't you go to school? Oh, oh, your teacher. She's not coming anywhere close to this house again. Do you understand me? Hello. Hello. Oh, please, honey, allow me to dismiss her myself. Don't overreact. I promise you I will dismiss her. Please, my love. Please. Well, I'm here now. Let's go say hi to Daddy. Is my daughter all right? Ah, everything is fine. Is that okay? Were you crying? No, I was. There's something entered my eye. Mm -hmm. uh, um, um. What um, is it? We have a problem here. My husband wants you to stop coming. <laughs> Excuse me? Your... What? Why? My sister, I don't know. It's best known to him. I don't know why he wants you to stop coming. So, please. Hmm? My best now. Huh? You can stop coming. Stop teaching her. Hmm. No, 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 no. You need to find out why he wants me to stop coming. Exactly. Because it doesn't make any sense. Exactly. Just give me time eh, to talk to Baby, him. Baby, come here. Permit me to find out what the problem is. Did oh. your daddy have a problem with me? I don't know. Does your husband have a problem with me? Yes, yes, yes. He has a problem with you. I don't know if he... If How can he have a problem with me when I'm only bringing good education to this smart little girl? That is what I want to find Parents out. Parents all over the world offer their children the best of education and... Here you are with your husband discouraging this brilliant child. I know, but I need What's to... What's wrong with you people? My sister, you can just stop. He, he is my husband and he has a final say. He is the head of this house. He does not want you to... He should want you to stop teaching his daughter. So you have to stop coming. Please. Just go. All right? He's, I don't know. She, she doesn't want to see you anymore. Just go, okay? Stop coming, my sister. Let me talk to my husband, okay? to go. Are you threatened by me? Because it kind of looks like it. Well, is this uh, a beautiful surprise or what? Mm. Look at you. <laughs> you can't believe I'm back. You're overwhelmed that it's me. And instead, instead of receiving me wholeheartedly, you're acting out, trying to cause unnecessary drama. Mm. You know, I have heard about how you love, cherish, and adore your wife and your kid. And it hurts. It hurts so bad knowing that that could be us. It could have been us. If it weren't for the damn genotype and all of life's bullshit. I was supposed to be your wife. 
And that little girl over there is supposed to be my daughter. Nonetheless, I missed you. I missed you a lot. I miss the way that you loved, cared, and protected me. I miss all the times we spent together. Ooh, good times, huh? And I miss the way you made love to me. Go on like a house, all right? You know, no man can take your place in my life. Nobody. I know you feel it too. Your eyes give you away. Those feelings that you have for me, that you're suppressing, <laughs> baby boo, Listen, Babu, I will push your buttons till every teeny weeny drop of love that you have for me breaks the rates. Huh? Belinda. Yes, baby. You have to leave now. I do not want to see you anywhere close to my family. Did you get that? Yeah, sure. So I, I'll leave. Joy girl! <laughs> I'll leave, baby, but before that, you, you have to tell us why it is you're depriving your smart, beautiful, and intelligent quality, quality education that is coming to add no cost. Tell us. Leave now. <laughs> okay. See you tomorrow. <laughs> because clearly he has no cogent reason as to why he wants the lessons to stop. That's it. Hey, hey, who is he, husband? This is my child. And who is he, Margaret? This is my child. Belinda is a family spoiler. Try to wish can person be this year. You have to stop crying, okay? Everything daddy does is for your own good. Or do you ever think I would do anything to hurt you, my love, my own daughter? I want my teacher back! I want my teacher back! with the teacher? Nothing. I was just telling her that she should stop coming here. Why? Yes, the lesson stops and that's final. I mean, why? I said, why? How? Did she do anything wrong? How can you say that she should stop coming without any reason to back it up? I want to know why do you want her to stop coming? Answer me! Like I said before, I do not want her to continue the lesson and that's fine now, do you understand me? If there's any reason for us to get Angel a private lesson teacher, then I should get one for her. Is there something you're not telling me? I ask again. Is there something you're hiding from me? Belinda ceases from coming to this house for this lesson nonsense. As a matter of fact, she shouldn't come anywhere around this house for anything. And I want to know why. You if there is any need, if there is any need for us to get Angel a private home teacher, then I will get one for her. And that's final. Hey, Belinda. I, who is the 
husband this is my child and who is my guarantee that Belinda is a family so boiler Belinda now which can person be this year who is the husband I'm so sorry for beating you up the other day. You know I have anger issues. I hate it when a woman, a woman that bends down to urinate, a woman that opens her leg to urinate, I hate it when she insults me or when she challenges me. You, you know it is written in the Bible. Eh? It says in the Bible that Women should be totally submissive to their man. Hmm? My love, you read Bible more than I. Eh? You read it very, very well. You see, even a woman that is covering her hair, she's covering it because of the husband, because of a man. It's written in the Bible. I'm sorry, yeah? I'm sorry. Please. I just want you to understand how a woman should be to the man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. See, a woman should be all that and more, but to a responsible man. A man that takes responsibility. A real man takes care provides and protects his family. When he does all that, you see how submissive his wife will be and how peaceful their home will be. You see what I'm talking about? Eh? Did you see what I just finished saying? I was just talking about submission. A woman to be submissive to the husband. And you're here telling me what a real man should do. What a real man should be. Eh? Are you mad? you be a real man when you have refused to go out there work and cater for your family i practically do everything in this house and you stay here and talk to me about submission please spare me all that ah, yes okay you yes. have more to talk yes you have more to yes. talk yes. Yes. you have more to talk no 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 come back no come back come and talk useless woman other women other wives are there gathering for their husbands gathering for their children you are here being lazy lazy up and down Idiot! Come and talk! Nonsense! Eh? You are not even happy that I married you. Which is your biggest achievement. You are not even happy that I married you. Idiot! You are here telling me about how a man should go and hustle. You are telling me what a real man should do. I'm sick. Nonsense! Come and tell me what a real man should do. Idiot! Angel. Angel. I, I, I think Angel is missing. I, she's nowhere to be found. My daughter is missing. Calm down. What do, you mean, what do you mean Angel is missing? Has she dismissed from school? Yes, I went to their school and everyone, almost everybody has gone home. She's not there. I couldn't find her there. Where could she be? I think my child is missing. Oh, um, um, okay, okay, darling. Just, just, just calm down, alright? Um, um, don't be worked up. 
Trust me, Angel is fine. Anywhere she is right now, she is fine. Angel. Come on, Angel is fine. All you need to for me now is just to put yourself together. Okay. okay? Come on, you don't need this. Nothing will happen to Angel, believe me. Okay. Just put yourself together, okay? Sit here. Sit here. Just calm down. Take a deep breath. Alright, just okay, fine, fine. Just be good, okay? okay. Um, let me go look for her. She's fine. She's fine. She's fine. I'll be back. She should have come with you. How can I relax from the child is missing? How can I? Angel, what are you doing here? What, what, what are you doing here? have so many memories in this compound and the fact that you found your way back here <laughs> shows that we still have a connection. Belinda, what? Please, I beg you in the name of God. Mm. I beg you in the name of whatever you respect and you hold there. Mm. Stay away from my family. Please. Why should I when you are my family? I can't stay away from you. It's a good thing you're here, because now we can ignite the memories. Feel this? You're crossing the red line. Am I? You feel it, don't you? Excuse me. house from school. Imagine the impetus. So? Is that why you're flogging my child? Don't you know that she's still a child? Eh? How can you stop a child from building a relationship with her teacher? It's so wrong of you. Why are you so wicked? Why are you so mean? You know, maybe more. You are spoiling this child. Don't hit my child again. I won't take that from you. You are overpopulating this child. How can you beat a child like this? No. Do you want to care for me? She's the only one I have. Angel! She's the only Angel. one I have. Wait a minute. Did I hear you say it's Belinda's house? You know Belinda's house? <laughs> Belinda? How come you know that she went there? How did you know? How did you know Belinda's house?
Linda's house. Linda. Hey. Of your. Ask again. Who is Belinda? How? How did you find out where Belinda lives? That name, Belinda, keeps ringing bell in my ear. Who is Belinda? Listen, my love. You know that I cannot hide anything from you. Why are you bothered over nothing? Belinda is Belinda. The one I told you about. Nothing more. Belinda is Belinda. Belinda is Belinda. See how feelings for her, right? Not anymore. Those were in the past. Right now, you and Angela are all that matters to me. All that matters to me. You built up my source of happiness. The reason for my existence. Belinda. It's Belinda. Listen, my love. Belinda. Not anymore. It's Belinda, right? Not anymore. Whatever it is I have with her was in the past. And it remains in the past. Right now, you and Angel are my source of happiness. Belinda is Belinda. I never knew you still have to have finished with you. I still do. As a matter of fact, I never stopped talking of your Then why did you break up with him? not compatible genotype wise he's AS I am AS and because I didn't want innocent babies to suffer the consequence of our love I I suggested that we break off our relationship I thought, I thought I would get over Obi, but it seemed harder than I thought. After all this time, I still got over. I'm so sorry for that. This has to happen to me last night. But I think you need to write this. Watch him out, move on. Just forget about him. Especially now he has a family of his own. Guy, young guy, happily married. Whatsoever God has joined together, let no man put us on that. Shut up! Not even you, Belinda. Shut that trap you call him out. A baby. Look at her. Obiora belongs to me. He's mine. And I know for a fact that he's not happy wherever he is. I am unhappy. He's unhappy. And until both of us come together as a couple, we will not be happy. And so I'm here for a reconnect. And don't you dare open that your mouth to throw negativity at me. 
next time I'm discussing a topic like this, you have nothing sweet to say, shove your goddamn opinion down your throat. You understand? Hey, Belinda. Hey, who is your husband? This is not your Belinda. And who is your Margaret? Not your Belinda. Belinda is a family spoiler. Belinda. Try to wish can pass in the DC. Belinda. Yeah. Who is your husband? This is not your Belinda. And who is your Margaret? Not your Belinda is a family so Belinda day on day Live another woman family Just focus on your own Where is she? Angel Angel you're late to school already Oh you want them to flog you for late coming alright? Where is your... Are you... Daddy, bye! Hey, I need a big for my to go on your tisabata. I need a big one for my on your tisa we piano. Oh, we be a blessing on the monarchy with tickets here. Come on, baby. We need to talk. Talk about what? No, what do you want us to talk about? How long has this been going on? How long? You wanted her to stop coming so that I wouldn't find out about you guys. No. No, that's not true. Then what is the truth? No, tell me. I want to know that you still have feelings for her. That is the truth. No, my love. We've been married for 12 years and that's enough for you to believe and trust your husband. You should know me better than this. I call a spade a spade. Whatever I had with Belinda is in the past. As I speak to you, I have no single feelings for her. And that's the truth. Twelve years. Oh. Twelve years I have been with you. I've tried. I tried to make you happy. Make this marriage work. But all my hard work, my sacrifice, is about to be in vain. Because I know she's back to take her place. No, no. But yes, that is what it is. No, stop saying this, my love. Stop! I will say it! Because I know how much you loved her. And you still love her. Have you forgotten? Have you forgotten the trauma? The trauma that I passed through. During our early stage of marriage. Honey, you call out her name. Even when you were making love to me, you called me Belinda and I still endure it. Now that she's back, I know she'll take her place because I can't stand her. No, no, no. I, no, I, no, no, I listen, can't stand her. Listen, honey. Listen to me. Believe me. Believe your husband. I wish you could scan through my heart to see that all I am saying is the truth. I love you. I cherish you. You're one of the best things that has ever happened to me. You are my love, my companion, my friend, my confidant, and most importantly, the mother of my sweet daughter, Angel. Honey, I can't trade both of you for anything in the world. Lies! Lies from the pit of hell. Stay away from me. Hey, 
Collaboration. Collaboration. Right? Using the consonants that you hear. Inquisitive. Inquisitive. Uh, Angel, I think you're done for the minute, okay? Take your books in. I want to have some moments with Auntie. Okay? okay. Yes. You did good today, baby. Thank you. Don't worry, she will continue tomorrow. Also, a student. Isn't it? <laughs> hey, are you living them? without giving me a high five? Mm -hmm. No, girl. I'll mm -hmm. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. All right. So, what are we celebrating? My dear, I know you are a friend of the family. Mm -hmm. Yes. You are part of this family. So we are celebrating. Uga, take. Mm. We are celebrating. <laughs> I want us to enjoy ourselves. I okay. want to learn more from you. Okay. Let's have a toast. What are we toasting to? Long life and prosperity. I toast a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, love. That's right. Oh, and my husband is here. Aha! Oh, honey. Welcome. Sit, sit in your seat. Sit, sit, sit. Sit, sit. No, 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 sit. You don't need to worry. <laughs> You're welcome. You know, I just want to chill out here with my friend. She's my friend now, isn't it? Hmm? 
Yeah. Are you not my friend? I am your friend. You are part of this family. Absolutely. Let's have a toast again. <laughs> Click. Mm -hmm. Drink it up. Drink up. What's our God? So tell me, I want to know. You know you're very beautiful. Ah, oh, thanks. Mm -hmm. Fine girl like you. Mm -hmm. I want to know what you are doing in this village. Why are you teaching in that local school? <laughs> Tell me about it. Stop it. <laughs> well, I told you before, I have extreme passion for young chaps who are brilliant. And so, impacting knowledge and wisdom to them in my capacity, it's something I consider a hobby. Mm. Plus, I do have a treasure in this village. A treasure? And it made absolute sense that I navigate close to my treasure. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. so tell me, are you in a relationship? Currently, no. no. Currently, no? Yeah. Oh, Damage is single. <laughs> Can you tell me about it? Please, I want to know more about you. About what? About your relationship. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'd rather not, man. Why would I want to bore you with the details? Mm, no, it's not. But it's okay. Let me ask you something. Educate me more. Okay. I want to learn more from you. Yes. As a relationship expert, uh -huh. have you seen where ex goes back to their ex? Of course. Are you kidding? That happens a lot. Hmm. Especially when the heart wants what it wants. The universe has a way of aligning two people that are meant to be for each other together. I believe in possibilities. <laughs> mm. You know there's a saying, never say never. Um, you heard that before? Uh, I know, but do you think it's good a woman fighting a woman because of a man? First of all, love itself is worth fighting for. It doesn't now matter what it is or whoever it is you're fighting. That is secondary. Primary thing is love. Right? When you love something or someone, you go fruitlessly for it. Mm -hmm. Fight for it. If it's yours, you win it. Winner takes it all. Oh, yeah, you're right. You know, philosophers have uh. likened love to butterflies. Mm -hmm. They say love is like a butterfly. If you love someone, let them go. Let them fly away like the butterfly. If they come back, it means they were meant to be for you. <laughs> <laughs> see where I'm coming from? Yes, yes, yeah. I can see that. But, in my opinion, I think that is the lowest law. Yeah, it is not good for a woman to fight a woman because of a man. Oh, really? But sometimes men are stupid. They are senseless. They don't know what they want. Yes. You understand my husband? Yes, because it happens in this village. It has happened before. I need to gist you about it. Yes, you know you're a very classy lady. Uh, absolutely. My honey, you are girl. I know. You got it. I don't think you need a church rat. Yes, a village man. <laughs> eh? A jobless man to be with. You need in the do you with all those men that fly higher. Uh, yeah. That is what you need in your life, not some cockroach. Yes. <laughs> you know I like you. I do. And I want the best for you. Sure. Yes, I want the best. For you, okay? Honey, what do you think? Eh, honey, are you listening to what I'm saying? Yes, but my love, mm. I, I still want to learn from you. Why? Yes, yes, I want to ask you something. This one is more important to me. What do you think kills marriage? Lack of trust, stubbornness, and the beribe. 
kills marriage. <laughs> Lack of trust. Stubbornness. But I wasn't asking you. I'm only asking the relationship experts. Not you. <laughs> Don't mind my husband. I'm going to get the Eh? <laughs> Joy, what is the name of the game you're playing? What game? I don't know what you're talking about. You do know what I'm talking about. And if I'm to advise you, I will advise you stop this nonsense because it will lead you astray. Yes, it will lead you astray eventually. I told you that I don't have anything to do with Belinda and as such, I don't want her close to this family. I made that clear to you. What's that? <laughs> I can sense it. Yes. I can sense it. You still have feelings for her. <laughs> you couldn't withhold it. You can't withhold it. Eh? I saw the way you were shaking, vibrating, and I even noticed some movement in between your legs. Right in my presence, you were lost. In can you stop all this? Stop what? Joy! Stop, stop what? Stop what? So I told you everything you needed to know about Belinda before we got married. Mm. We didn't have issues. We broke up because we were both A's. And we can't afford to give birth to sickle cell babies. And that's it. Huh. Right now, I do not have anything to do with her and I don't want her around. Simple. 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 So how come did she decide to come back? After 12 years in a manipulative way. And yet, she's still single. It's unbanked today. Hey! I've told you, this game you're playing will consume you. I need to wear a matandia quasi. Hey! Ha 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 
Hey, hey. This is how the laugh is supposed to come out. This is how the laughter is. <laughs> this is the sign that God answers prayers. This is a sign that God has answered my prayer. Eh? See, you think I'll be angry if you say you're leaving. Leave! In fact, Mama Ekele, Chinekena, Mama Ekele, Jehovah Nisi, Mama Ekele, 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 Mama Ekele. See, I am very much glad that you want to leave. <laughs> At least nobody will say that I'm the one that sent my wife away. Nobody will say that. I am so much glad that you are leaving. <laughs> soldier goes, soldier come. In fact, I am going to one of your place now to go and take the highest Nkobi that I've never eaten before since I married you. Do you even know how many women that stops me outside? That stop me on the road to tell me that they love me and they want me to be their husband? Do you know how many women? Mm -hmm. Because I am very handsome. Look at my beard now. Eh? Very, very handsome. Many of them, many women yeah. stop me on the road to say, Hi. I want to be your wife. <laughs> you are useless. You are very stupid. Yes. I'm not going anywhere. Watch me. I'm going inside the house. Me and you. Will die here. Will die here. <laughs> Let me tell you bringing that woman into this house. Yeah. Stupid woman. Stupid woman. Hey, hey, hey. You are going where? You are going inside the house. I will stay here. I'm not going. Yeah. I'm not going. I'm not going anywhere. Ah, give me a chance. Let me, me let me think about my just, life. Just, just look at him. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, no, no, come and go. You you want to go? You think as you are leaving, maybe say they are, they they lined up in the gate waiting for me. Eh? Many of them, nonsense. Let me go to one on the third place and what be one your cast place. <laughs> so you know that condoms have flavors, really? My sister have not been using condoms. Strawberry. Oh Jesus Christ, girl, you've been missing out on life. It comes in colors, okay? There's the black condom. Black condom? Yes, because your man may not be black, but his dick can be black. I've not seen that one before. Mm -hmm. I have never seen it that looks one before. like a black snake. Does it look? Oh, God! <laughs> Where's the fun in that? Are you, are you kidding me? Like <laughs> <laughs> honey. Give me my hand. There's even some there. This is for your brain reset, in case you've lost it. What has come over you? What do you think you're doing? What kind of stupid game do you think you're playing? Have you lost it? Instead of protecting your home by keeping the enemy away, you're destroying your home by yourself. You're destroying it by dining and whining with your very enemy. What is wrong with you? Because I want you to prove to me that you do not have feelings for her anymore. I want to bring her close so that I will know how you react when you see her. I want to see how you react in my presence. Did you listen to yourself? Did you hear yourself speak? You sound so dumb. Very stupid talk. You can go ahead and call me whatever you want to call me. I don't care. But you have to prove to me that you do not have feelings for Belinda anymore. Not by saying with your mouth. Prove it to me. I am your wife. This fire you are igniting will consume you. Joy. This fire will consume you. All the way. Girl, go ahead. Go ahead with your games and, and play it till whenever places you to stop. I'm sorry for the slap. I don't mean to hurt you. It was just correctional.
sweetheart. Is everything all right? Everything is all right, my darling. <laughs> I think, I really think that your husband may have anger issues. Anger issues? <laughs> you know how Nigeria is now. Yeah. Almost everybody in this country has anger issues. <gasps> Even the sun is hitting on his head. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Uh, uh, can I do right with you too? Everything is okay. So Trust I can stay, me. huh? Just teach me more. Tell me more about the condom. Right. The black, red, blue. And it has sizes. You cannot do it. Because some clitoris are not as wide as the other. I'm sorry. I've already said I'm sorry. Starting from yesterday for like one million times. It happened on impulse. I didn't plan it. I didn't mean to do that. Please. Baby. But oh, guys, I don't want to do. I don't want to do. Eh? If you want to do, go and meet your Belinda. She will open for you. You will do. I am not Belinda now. Or am I Belinda? Please, oh, let me be. Can you not allow Belinda coming between our loving home? Can you not allow her to destroy what we've built over the years? Please, I'm sorry. Forgive me. Please. Oh, leave me alone now. See, your God, if you like, stay here from night to tomorrow. Me, Joy, I will not do. I have told you, this is hot afternoon. Go back to your work and work like a fellow man. Eh? Stop pursuing my here and there. If you want to do, go and meet your girlfriend, Belinda. Joy, I am not available. I have locked my engine. My engine is not for sale. It's not for you. This is not fair. Okay. Allow me to sleep my sleep this hot this hot afternoon. Allow me to sleep my sleep. Allow me to sleep my sleep this this hot afternoon. How? I'm trying to be courageous and mean, like you said. But he mocked me and threatened to marry another wife immediately I leave. He was wet. Good job, good job, good job. So what do you care if he brings in another woman? Yeah. I mean, he will be doing me a huge favor if he releases you to go. So that instead of you staying there to receive all these beatings, somebody else will now receive them in your place. This is me, Stop this nonsense. Stop it. Stop coming here to complain to me about your husband. Since you don't want to have sense. It appears your husband may have beaten up the tiny sense you have in you. Because you are reasoning senselessly, baby. Stop. That's not how to talk. Or treat a friend in distress, eh? Why are you acting like this now? You're not in distress. Distress what? Please, please, I know distress when I see it. You, my dear friend, are in stupidity. By choice. And until you die, you might not learn the lessons. This dress, this dress, cough. Yes, this dress, cough. Only you can help yourself. You do. Don't do this. I'm watching you. You are joking, right? Hmm. In fact, I wish I was. Women are so unpredictable and unbelievable. I don't know what happened. This gender act before they think. They just wake up one morning and do whatever comes to their mind, regardless of what the outcome might be. 
Ah, it's true though. And that's what the pressure them for man. I'm telling you. The man will be always team before taking any action. Okay. My wife has turned to a total stranger. If anyone had told me it would turn this way, I, I wouldn't have believed it, but there we are. But what exactly is her problem? Belinda. Belinda? Belinda. Check that book and look at that measurement. Uh, 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 what is it? What Angel happened? here. Angel? Yes! Angel is not here. What happened? Hey! I think Angel is missing up! What? Which? Which? My, my daughter own? is missing! What? 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 What's up to me? Do you see Angel here? Where's my child? Where is my daughter? Don't pretend like you don't know what I'm talking about. I know you want me. That's why you're in here. Sit down. I am not going to sit. Where is my daughter?
fire on the mountain. What this fire? Mm -hmm. the mountain. In case your daddy walks in now and asks you where you went to, mm. please don't tell him that I sent you on an errand. Mm. Okay? Mommy, what do you want me to tell daddy? Mm. Just lie to him. I should lie. Yes, lie. Uh -huh. Yes, just tell him. Just tell me anything. Tell him that you went somewhere or you went to your friends or you just, just lie. Just cover me up, okay? Lie. Yes, yes. Just, I will try my best. Yeah, lie, 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 lie. lie. Huh. Okay, let me start taking up the land. Um, Daddy, I'm sorry. It was not. Angel. Is that you Angel. Where have you been? Am I not talking to you? I said, where have you been? Angel, how many times have I warned you to always return to this house whenever you close from school? Why are you not talking? Okay, I should get my no, cane? No, 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 should I get no, my no, cane? no, 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 okay, I'll talk, I'll talk, I'll talk. Mommy sent me on an errand. Your mommy did what? She sends me on an errand. Joy, you're losing your sanity out of stupid jealousy and I can't take it anymore from you. Listen. If you're tired of this union, pack your things and go. Leave me in one piece. Instead of putting me through this emotional stress. You see? You see? When a child is fighting for his or her right, he or she is being tired and stubborn and insane. But in this case, you're not fighting anybody. Mm. Who are you fighting with? <laughs> there is no need for fight. I have made it conspicuously clear, I've said it many times to you, that I do not feel anything for Belinda anymore. Mm. But no, you wouldn't listen. Like I said, please, if you're tired, pack your things and go. Leave me. I should pack my things and go. You see, you will, now you want to bring in your Belinda so you can enjoy yourself with her. I should pack my things and go. Can you listen to yourself? You think I'm a fool? Oh, you want to drive me out of your house? So you bring in your lover? Hey! Oh, you're right. You feel like a bogey. You feel like a name is in. Though you've changed. So much about you has changed. You've become so unbelievable. You now behave like a total stranger. I'm sick and tired of your silly games. <laughs> Sorry. I see, I don't mean to hurt you, but forgive me, but no, I know what I am saying. No, my instinct can never lie to me. I am I am sure. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. I am sure. I'm fighting for my right. I am fighting for my right. I'm sorry. I had to tell daddy the truth. He wanted to bring out his big game. He wanted to bring out his big game. So you cannot endure small pain for your mommy. But I endure the pain of labor giving birth to you. Hi! Here I go. Don't touch me. Mommy, I'm sorry. Mommy. Angel, allow me to think. Allow me to think. Oh, Mommy, you can bring out his big cane and flog me with his anger. Mommy, please. I'm sorry. I promise you anything you want me to do, I will do it for you. Oh, my God. 
something cold in the house, it would actually be better if you're teaching me something. Cold. Maybe when I'm done tutoring. Let's see. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead. Come in. <laughs> so, your books are here. Yeah. Where did we stop the last time? We stopped at number nine. Number Maybe. nine. What were you going to write here? Teacher was. Um, Is that supposed to be past tense or past participle? Past tense. Teacher write it now. Okay. Uh -huh. That's good. Mm. Mm. <laughs> um, uh, still trying to figure it out, huh? Yeah. I know what to use that. Okay, make it a continuous present. No. I'm just going to be here watching. Let's see what you do with it. <laughs> mm. So, Angel, I hope you're, you're learning. Yes, Daddy, I'm learning a lot. That's good. And, Belle, I hope she's not stressing you in any way. No. Come on, Belle. You look uneasy. Just, just relax. Are you surprised I call you Belle before my wife? <laughs> Don't worry, she's fine. <laughs> she knows you are my ex and uh, she doesn't have a problem with it. She doesn't have a problem with you coming around the house either. I'm correct, right? <laughs> so, and, um, and she's aware of everything, so you just need to do your job, okay? Yeah, well. wife knew about this all along and she said nothing I don't get it what manner of woman is she because not many women will know this and take it lightly 
I, for instance, will never take it lightly. Yeah, you're right. But Joy is a very good and understanding woman. Yeah, she is. Uh -huh. mm. So, if she's understanding like you say, why then are you pushing me away? That's the right thing to do. Obi, what you and I share is deep. It's me. Remember me? Remember how much we loved and cared for each other? Remember our love, Obi? Listen, life happened to us. You know how much I loved you. You know how much I wanted you, Belinda. You know I was willing to marry you against doctor's report. But you refused. Yeah, you are so careful. I cried. I hurt so much. I missed you every second after. I, I felt I couldn't do life without you. But then I moved on. And then <clears throat> I, I met Joy. And then Angel also came in. And, and I'm happy. Yes, I, I have a very happy home now. And, and I'm okay with that. I refused then because I cared. I cared about the doctor's reports and the medical status. I cared about the, the, the consequences that was to be in the future if we... But right now, I don't care. All I want is you. I, I want you back in my life. You can have me. I love you. Listen, Belinda, you can't have me. No. I am married now. And I love them so much with all my heart. Yes. I, I, I can't treat them for anything. Why don't you just give someone a chance in your life? Maybe you'll be happy again. Who is the husband? This is not And who is the Margaret? Belinda is a family spoiler. Joy, na wish can person be this year. Who is the husband? This is not Joe. Shameless idiots! I'm not here. You are back. Kill me. Kill me already. So it has gotten to this point, Akuya. It has gotten to this point. Eh? She should no longer hide it. You don't like, you, you no longer do it behind my back. Eh? You now rub it on my face. What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about? So it has gone to the extent of seeing her off. In a different in a different. Was that not what you wanted? How? You wanted Belinda and I to be close so that I could prove to you I no longer feel anything for her. Yes, I am your wife, even though. Even though I want you to prove to me that you guys are no longer together, must you rub it to my face? You know what? I was trying to make you happy, but along the line, I realized I could also make myself happy too. How? Yes! Listen, I'm a man. A full grown man. I can choose to take two, three, four, five wives as, as the case may be. Alright? I have a wife who I love so much, and I also have an ex which I love with my life. So it's a win win for me, and I don't care how you feel about it. You're joking, right? Listen, this is the tip of the iceberg to compare to what is to come. You wanted it, you got it. Excuse me. Ah, hey, 
Why, why, is your, why are you holding your tummy? Why are you vomiting? I'm going to finish fine. What is wrong with you? Come on, go and get me food. Let me eat. Go and get me my food. I'm very hungry. See me, you're not feeling fine. I'm afraid that. What? What did you say? You're pregnant. Huh? You said you're pregnant. You heard me now. I'm pregnant. <sighs> um, see, don't prepare the food again, eh? Forget the food, I will go and get it. Yeah? Don't worry, I'll go. I beg you. Hey, look. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> My wife is pregnant. My wife is pregnant. My wife is <laughs> Joy. Why is there no food in this house? You choose to starve everybody. Meanwhile, I can remember dropping money for you before going to work. So why didn't you cook? So why didn't you cook? Mama Angel, are you not the one I'm talking to? You see this nonsense? This nonsense you're doing in this house. Oh, Angel. Oh. I'm hungry. I'm very, very hungry. I've not eaten since I came back from school. Did you hear that? You're starving my daughter. Meanwhile, I kept money for you to cook. Hey, Mama Angel. My love, you know what? Go inside my room, okay? You know where daddy drops money in the wardrobe. Mm -hmm. Take money there and buy whatever you want to eat. I will cook the food myself. Okay. All right? Okay. Good girl. It kind of tastes like someone I know made it. <coughs> Prepared by Chef Obio. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, I know. I'm not surprised. Because even if I was dreaming, I'd see it. 
recognize food made by you. You must have missed my meal. I did. See, don't worry. Tomorrow I'm going to prepare something very special and delicious for you. Yeah. Is that a plan? <laughs> I'll be waiting. Yeah, you trust my fingers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You take them away. Okay. Okay. Easy. Easy. Husband is in a child, and who is he? Margaret is in a child, Belinda is a family so poor. Try not to wish can pass in the DC. Who is he? Husband is in a child, and who is he? Margaret is in a child, Belinda is a family. So boy love, try na quiz can person be this year. Try na let you that day on day leave another woman family. Just focus on your own. See if I find love for where this family they share. Belinda comes scatter everything for I. Belinda is like a virus where they drop us in joy. If she enter you, she get born when we know I. Yeah, who is he? Husband, this is not child. And who is he? Margaret, it's not child. Belinda is a family so poor. Try not to wish can't be seen. This is your child. 